If you have an AMD X570 or a B550 motherboard like myself and you're getting constant USB connections or crashes, stick around because this video may have a fix for you. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video. So today I wanted to talk about the USB issues that we're starting to see on the X570 and B550 chipset motherboards from AMD. Now the issue has been going on for quite some time and AMD has finally admitted that there's an issue with the boards, but we don't have an official fix because they don't know what's going on. And they've also been pretty silent on the situation, making it a little bit more frustrating. So hopefully today in this video, I can show you guys two different settings that you can go into your BIOS and change at least until we have an official fix from AMD. So with that being said, let's hop on over to the computer and take a look. Now to get started, you will want to be in your BIOS. You can either do that by spamming the delete key during startup, but if that doesn't work, check out this video in the upper right hand corner. This goes into some uh, alternative ways to get into your BIOS. Yours might look a little bit different depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, but now is also a good time to have your manual either digitally or physically with you, just in case the looks, the settings, or the verbiage doesn't match what you see on here. Now, this is a Prime Pro. Again, it's an Asus board. We are currently set up in easy mode, which is what it defaults to. So we're gonna hit F7 on the keyboard, and that's gonna put us into the advanced mode. Now from here, you're gonna be on the main tab. You're gonna to want to either use your mouse or your arrow keys and head on over to the advanced tab. And then we're gonna use the arrow keys all the way down and go down to where it says AMD CBS. And go ahead and hit enter on that. And you're gonna to want to look for a setting called global C-state control. C-state is just a setting on the CPU that if certain components aren't being utilized, it shuts them down in order to save power. The ultimate drawback about disabling the setting is just extra power draw, but as efficient as CPUs and systems have become, it shouldn't be too much. It just depends on what you have in your system. So we're gonna go down to global C-state control. We're gonna hit enter on that. Head on up to disabled, hit enter once again, and then you'll hit F10 on the keyboard to save and reset. Since I already technically had mine disabled, it doesn't have any say, uh, changes that need to save, but you can either click OK or hit enter once again. System's going to reboot and disable the C-state control. The second workaround that may work for you is to go in and change your PCI Express slot from a Gen 4 or Auto into a Gen 3. You can do that by again going into BIOS, go to Advanced, go to the Advanced tab, come on down to Onboard Device Configuration, hit Enter, and change your PCI EX16 underscore one mode from uh, Auto or Gen 4 into Gen 3. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's not a system out there that fully saturates Gen 3, so if you're worried about performance, there might be a little bit of performance hit, but it should, should be pretty negligible. I've got a 5700 XT in here with like a Gen 4 Sabin drive, and I haven't seen any major issues with performance at all. Then again, you'll just hit F10. You'll want to save those settings. The system will once again reboot. Hopefully those two settings were something that could work around or fix your guys' machines and get you something that's at least stable until we know from AMD on what's going on. Anyways guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. Let me know if this helped out and which one made the difference down in the comments below. Thank you again all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe if you got something out of this. And if you want to support the channel in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch over there that you can check out. Anyways, thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Phew. <sighs>